Hey everyone, this is Smruti. Welcome to QA automation classes. So today we are going to continue on our uh, Git IntelliJ integration sessions. And today we will be seeing how to set up your remote repository and how to push your code to the remote repository. So before that, let's understand how you have to add the user credential to the Git. So if you go to uh, C drive, and go to users and your username here you will see one dot git config file if you open it with a notepad okay here you can see user details right so here user name equals to this is my username and this is my email okay so both the things i have configured over here so let me close and uh, last time the project we have developed it was having a different user credential because of which uh, uh, I, I didn't get those credential to log into the git somehow I lost it so we'll do one thing we'll create a new project and we'll exactly do those commits and then we'll try to push the changes to the remote repository okay so let's say new project and uh, we'll say like a git IntelliJ demo right In git IntelliJ ID integration and uh, it's the java project and maven uh, 20 okay uh, qa automation classes and git intellij uh, idea integration okay so let me open this new project so the project is created now the folder structure is there and we have main okay cool so all right so this is the uh, piece of the code that has been automatically got generated okay so we have the pom.xml and main so now we have to make it into a java project uh, make it into a git git project right so how to do here we are seeing vcs now go to the vcs say create git repository so now when i click on create git repository i have to select okay this is my project i have to convert this into the git repository so click on okay So now if you see the git options came here instead of the vcs and here also git right and now these are all shown in the red because they are not yet added into the uh, staging area so let's go and add them into the staging area git so add okay and uh, pom.xml also uh, i can add okay both are added to staging area so and i can commit this is the first commit i can say commit okay give the commit message so let's say first commit in master branch okay so i'm saying this is my first commit in the master branch and i can do a commit over here right so similarly if you see the last code we had multiple commits over there so let's do that first and this would be our second commit now i can go and do the commit that's a second commit okay so now let's go and see here log so you can see first commit and second commit both came here okay so similarly let's have few more commits i can say third commit and fourth commit okay so this will be my third commit let's do a git commit say third commit commit and let's have one more let's say fourth commit so now we have four uh, four commits in our master branch okay let's commit this one as well commit and see fourth commit fourth commit in master branch okay so we have four commits here so master and head all are pointing to the latest commit that is the fourth commit and this is the user information right and uh, the time a moment ago so if you want to see what exactly is the like the detail about that commit you can click on that commit and here you can see the user information okay this is the commit hash and it is 40 character long but it is shortened right 
so and here if you see in two branches head is master okay so this is my first commit it is the commit message also you can see and if you click here main.java this is my first commit so everything was added here right everything was added here so compared to the previous commit nothing was there previous commit was commit no commit was there this is the first commit right so everything is in this uh, green color so now if you go to the second commit and if you see and there is a difference section you will see the this is the original commit and this is the new commit okay if you see how how would you understand that this is commit id 1 ca 8 f right so the second commit in master branch you can see the commit id right so if you click here and this is the same view right we have already clicked on the main so if you see here you were showing the earlier commit uh, changes and here whatever is the recent commit what is going right similarly if you click on third commit you will see so second commit we had the hello world and second commit and in the third commit we are having hello world second commit and third commit so each commit right it contains the complete information right till that point of the time what is the uh, code base was looking right so similarly when you go to fourth commit it will compare with the hello world second commit and third commit as already there and we are adding the fourth comment so till now we have done we have seen last time okay so now we have to do a push to the remote repository so when we say push to the remote repository it says master define remote right we need to first define a remote if you click on this one it is saying name is origin okay and url what is this url we have to create a remote repository first and then um, in that repository's url we have to keep it here so let's see how can we do that so let's go to the browser and then let's say github login so sign in to github okay this is my account okay so now i need to create a new repository okay so i can give the same name as of the project name so refactor rename you will see and let's go here and give the repository name so this is available okay so description if you want you can give public okay it's a public repository and I'm not selecting anything else. Okay, so I'm just saying create repository. So now if you see our repository got created. Okay, so yeah, a empty repository got created. Okay, and if you see uh, there is HTTPS and SSH. So we'll take this HTTPS URL. Let's take it. And then it's saying, see, uh, so this is this is the steps it is saying if you go through the command line these are the things you need to do right so but we are doing from the IntelliJ so we don't have to follow these steps just follow me so copy this one now let's go to the IntelliJ and uh, yeah we have to do a push define remote remote is origin okay and this is my URL project repository URL so say okay so now it verified okay that is a perfect like that is a valid url uh, git repository so we can push that so now if you see here it is showing all the commits here right first commit second commit third commit fourth commit and these are all commits are going into the from our local master to the origin master if you see local we have the master branch right so from the local master to the origin means remote repositories master branch we are pushing and it is a new one right so it is showing as new so now we have to say push so now it is saying pushing pushed master to new branch origin slash master okay so it's been already updated now if we go here and if we go and update this one get IntelliJ okay open it now you can see whatever code was there that has been pushed to the remote okay so here you, you see that is pom.xml right and QA automation classes let's go to that main.java right so if you see it has hello world then second commit third commit and fourth commit all those commits that we did right uh, in our local all the commits are available over here and if you want to see this one I will just show a little bit about this uh, repository in the remote 
if you see this is the master branch right we only have the master branch over here no other branches are there because from the local only we had only master branch right one branch and uh, uh, here we have uh, code you can see the code and here this is the project structure source main java key automation classes right and uh, yeah key automation classes right main dot java so only pom and main dot java got pushed while pushing we didn't select the other things to be pushed right like git ignore and other things right so they didn't got pushed in git ignore we can see verify those i think we have already ignored these files right model.xml jar repository.xml compiler.xml so these files right these files didn't get pushed to the remote repository we are ignoring those file to be pushed to the remote repository right so hope you guys are clear right so this is how you uh, create the project in your local and then through the IntelliJ you first add your user details right the user detail what you have seen that uh, git config right so that one was like the the this user's user id and password right? this username and password uh, not password the username and email user email id so when you first time do the login it will it might ask you for the authentication so in that uh, time either you can go with the basic authentication like uh, giving the username and password of your github account um, and it will authenticate you and it will um, allow you to push the changes right so that's how like you will set up the code and you will do the push to the remote repository right and i just want to show you here uh, settings okay so if you scroll down so this is a public uh, repository if you want to make it private you can do it here and if you want to delete this repository you can click on this and you can delete the repository right and uh, branch protection and all you will see when we uh, do the pushes to the different branches that we will see later okay so this is uh, like how we created our local um, in the the code base in the local and push it into the remote repository hope you guys are clear if you guys have any doubt please uh, put them in the comment section i'll reply to them and if you guys are uh, enjoying this sessions so please uh, do subscribe to my channel and we'll see tomorrow thank you bye